like like the results like people are buying and selling like closings are happening every day in your MLS right Okay, so so you don't have to force anybody to do anything. You're not going to force them to do anything anyway, right? Don't quit We're trying to do the deal. Quit trying to make the appointment. And, and I blew it trying to keep that other business going. Yeah. And at the end of 2016, we finally had to shut that business down. Yeah. And uh, I found myself without any leads and without any money to pay for leads because, you know, one little bit extra I had coming in from there, you know, was going to help me with, you know, whatever I needed as far as building my real estate business. Well, I didn't do it. So we spent the whole year in 2017 really just kind of floundering. We did endless, like two, three, sometimes four open houses in a week and got nothing out of it. Door knocking until my feet bled and got nothing out of it. Finally, I went back to my database and started, you know, really kind of connecting with my database. Yeah. And uh, and going back to what I did the first two years, which was expired listings. Right. So expired listings, really my database, expired listings and circle prospecting have been the best thing for me. So what's your, what's your, what's your goals on a daily basis? Well, my goal is to try to set one appointment a day. Okay. Or to have one seriously good conversation. Like today, have a guy, he's thinking about selling his house when his son gets out of school. You know, I asked him if I could put him into my, my back end and, and start sending him stuff and stay in touch with him. He's like, yeah. So if I can have a conversation like that or if I can set an appointment, that's a good day. How many conversations are you trying to have a day? Um... I'm trying to have at least five good conversations a day. No, okay. All right, well, look, man. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work well for me. Trust me on this. I'd like to have more, but I can't do what I did before. See, I was using Vulcan 7 and getting a ton back when there were a ton of expires. Yeah. I was getting a ton of expired listings, and you know, that dried up at the end of 2016. So I'm really working off of old expires, just data that I, I downloaded from Vulcan before I let it go. Because we couldn't keep the platform, it was too expensive for us. I mean, literally, um, you know, we we were, I'm, I'm still behind six months on my second mortgage. Okay, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm working through a bunch of serious crap, man. Well, check this out. Um... I got a roll, but um, I just wanted to kind of get a little background real quick. So, so here, here, like, here's here's what I think. All right, real quick. Uh, okay. Like, um, number one, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. Okay. I think you should have twenty conversations a day, good or bad. Okay. Okay, with property owners. Okay. Um, I don't do expires. Expires are fine, and for sale by owners are fine. I don't do them. I never have. I mean, I've I've, I've tried them, but it ever it didn't it wasn't ever like my thing. Um. Um, I think that for sale by owners and expires are good, you know, definitely. I think you should do that and circle prospects. Circle prospecting is unlimited. You can't call all the property owners in your area ever, okay? Right. So, listen, the appointment is the result of, of your calls, right? Okay. You can't control results. Got it? So your your goal should not be one appointment a day. Who cares how you cannot judge your business based on how many appointments you're getting because then you're just my, your mindset is go for the appointment. And when you're just trying to set appointments, people kind of get the people smell that on you, right? Okay. Okay. So 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 the goal is is to actually not necessarily go after the appointment, but more concentrate on why they're wanting to buy or sell, right? Okay. And start focusing on that and then figure out from there what's the best move from there. Is the appointment the best move? Is waiting the best move? Is meeting at a property? Is, you know, you going to do some research and getting back to them? Um, there, there, there's a lot of different different outcomes and results other than just an appointment 
Like I, I think that this is what's wrong with a lot of the mainstream coaching is is they're coaching people to just they're 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 judging their whole business based on how many appointments, how many listings, how many closings they're having. When really success in the business to me is predicated on how many real relationships did you put in place today for the future, right? And when, that makes and, a lot of sense. Man. Okay, okay. And whenever, like, like the results, like people are buying and selling, like closings are happening every day in your MLS, right? Okay, so so you don't have to force anybody to do anything. You're not going to force them to do anything anyway, right? Don't quit We're trying to do the deal. Quit trying to make the appointment, right? Concentrate on why they're wanting to do what they're wanting to do, whether it be now or later or whenever, and build your database of people who love you because you didn't pressure them. You made them feel comfortable with you, and you were just there to help if they want to buy or sell now or in the future. And when you build your business that way, you build your database that way, and you quit focusing on appointments and this and that, you start to build something real. And here's the thing. People say, oh, Rick, you can't do that. I need deals now. I need now business. Closings are happening every day. If you're having 20 conversations a day, that means you called 20, you, you made 100 phone calls if you're doing circle prospecting, or maybe you called 40 for sale by owners that expires because the numbers are better quality. But if you're having 20 conversations every day, you're going to run into people who want to buy and sell right now. You, you can't help it. So, so, so if you trust the process and you approach the business correctly, as in I judge it based on how many relationships I'm putting in place for the future and not how many appointments I'm making, then you're going to win much bigger, much sooner. That makes sense, man. Okay. Um, what, is your, what is your email address so that I can send you this? Uh, Ricky, Ricky at zero to diamond dot com. Thank yeah. you so much for the advice. Yeah. And good luck on your next appointment. Thanks, buddy. All right. Thanks, Mike. Bye. Bye. He didn't know my next appointment is kite surfing.